See, that's Mike Pence today. Just moments ago, he scored his debate performance last night and said it's not him who deserves the credit. We had a little debate last night. It was at Longwood University, and I was humbled and honored to be there. Donald Trump called me late last night from Nevada to congratulate me on the debate. That really meant the world to me. It truly did. Some people think I won. But I'll leave that to others. You know, what I can tell you is from where I sat, Donald Trump won the debate. Donald Trump's vision to make America great again won the debate. And when we take that vision to every corner of Virginia and every corner of this great nation. Uh, comes with the job, I guess, right? Uh, if you're a, anybody's running mate, but especially Donald Trump's running mate, to make sure you deflect credit up the chain? He certainly knows what candidate he is running with. Look, it, I think it is going to be difficult for Donald Trump to look at the reviews of this debate and see that people applauded Mike Pence for having a polished performance, but also being able to drive the conversation to the issues he wanted to talk about, like Hillary Clinton's emails, for instance, in a way that Donald Trump was not prepared or just declined to do when he was on the debate stage with Hillary Clinton. And this is the difference between actually doing debate prep, going no. going through, you know, Mike Pence started in July, he did mock debates, he read the briefing books, versus just kind of trying to go through the motions of debate prep and saying that being on the campaign trail is debate prep. Mike Pence was all in, and I think you're going to see Donald Trump's advisors try to nudge him a little bit further down the path of debate prep, but again, this is Donald Trump we're talking about. To, to, to that point, to that point, the best athletes practice every yeah, day. Yeah. You know, they it's work it every day on. because yep. they, you know, they, you can't. A, Mike Pence, who's a polished debater, he's done this before. Mm -hmm. He's a good communicator. He realized Tim Kaine, whose performance is being, you know, eh, reviewed so much, yeah. but at least he he put into practice. We're told that Hillary Clinton's going to be off the campaign trail for several days yeah. to practice. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump stayed out before the first debate, and Reed, he's going to go to New Hampshire and do a town hall. Mm -hmm. uh, that's actually probably smart practice, yeah. if you will, live debate prep. Donald Trump has gotten a long way by being an anti-politician, the, the guy who does not play by the same rules that all the rest of them do. But once you get to a, a debate session like this, it actually matters that you have the preparation, the experience to, to do a debate like this. Mike Pence has been practicing this kind of debate prep for years as a member of Congress, as a governor. He's been on, on television doing these kinds of debates uh, on, on the Sunday shows and things like that. And and that difference really showed. It showed uh, when, when Hillary Clinton faced off with Donald Trump. It showed in the comparison between Mike Pence and Donald Trump. Uh, the, the question of, of whether or not his advisors can actually convince Donald Trump to sit down and do the debate prep I feel like we've read these stories for the last several weeks, yeah. and the performance hasn't... It, yeah, you know, after the stories about that he would stop tweeting, and after yeah. the stories it, that he would stop saying... His, his advisors have tried yeah. to weigh in a whole right. bunch of times, right. and I haven't seen a lot of change. And nobody, of course, is better at knows the grindstone kind of practicing than Hillary Clinton. Yeah. The woman right. does extremely well in these kinds of structured forums where you can rehearse and rehearse and rehearse debates, congressional right. testimony. So I think... People sort of forgot that. There was a little underestimating of how good she can be in these kinds of things because she's not so great on the campaign trail all the time right. and off the cuff. And that uh, came as a surprise perhaps to Donald Trump's team in the last debate. They're unlikely to be caught unaware. But she's been doing town halls for decades. Yeah, she was and doing that's the first lady. Yeah. So this is a format she's extremely comfortable in. It's one she actually does reasonably well yeah. with. In some ways, so. she might be better in a town hall right. uh, than she is even in a debate. Uh, and she's been doing town halls even recently. She did one uh, with her daughter. And I think for Donald Trump, how do you practice that uh, sort of all of the things that can come at you but in a, normal uh, in a election town year, hall? You would have. In a yeah, normal yeah, campaign, yeah, like right. done none of them. You would have yeah. been, you would have had hundreds of town yeah. halls in New Hampshire and Iowa and places like that. And Small That settings. was not how Donald Trump yeah. campaigned in the primaries. He did a little bit of it, but nowhere And he laid back in the campaign. primary debates. He laid back when they got into a lot of policy. Uh, I think smartly on his yeah. part because he wasn't prepared to get into the weeds of policy sometimes. So he would lay back. And but what, to, your, to Sarah's point earlier about Mike Pence being a seasoned debater, when you know, they ask you about apple pie, you bring up Clinton's emails. They ask you about what day is it, you bring up you know, the Clinton Foundation. Here's a moment last night when Tim Kaine was trying to make the case that all Donald Trump does is insult people, and Pence turned the table back. He says <laughs> ours is an, an insult-driven campaign. 
Did you all just hear that? Ours is an insult-driven campaign? I mean, to be honest with you, if Donald Trump had said all the things that you said he said in the way you said he said them, he still wouldn't have a fraction of the insults that Hillary Clinton leveled when she said that half of our supporters were a basket of deplorables. Now, again, Pence did not specifically defend Trump on a whole lot of things right. that Trump has said. But at least in that moment there, he tried to get the conversation back on favorable yeah. territory for them. Yeah. But there and is a risk yeah. of, of overcorrecting here, right? Like, right. one of the things that people are praising about Pence is that he was able to turn the conversation back and go after Hillary Clinton's foundation and emails. Donald Trump, I'm sure, is hearing all that. That's really hard to do in a town hall. You have someone right. who comes yeah. up and is talking perhaps about their deceased mm -hmm. family member, a veteran or whatever, and to pivot from that to uh, Hillary Clinton's emails or her husband's marital infidelities yeah. is a really hard yeah, Donald Trump's going to have to show right. some humanity and right. some, uh, some compassion uh, and some connection with those voters uh, in that town hall, and that's something he hasn't done. Ju hang on, what's judgment on your feet? Judgment on your yeah. feet to know if you have an attack that you not need to launch, pick your moment, don't do it. Right. And an Arkham, it's a great